computer. All right. Well, Avin, thank you so much for joining me for this mini interview. As you know, I've been um, meeting with students who've been practicing the receiving principles through one program or another, or another to uh, just really have a conversation so that anybody who's interested or curious can learn more about what's possible for them. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So I've basically been kind of asking four main questions. Sometimes we'll explore other things if it arises. But what I'd love to start with is maybe you can just share a little bit about what is it that drew you to explore the receiving principles. And you've tapped into a couple different programs uh, that are available. So maybe you can just share a little bit about what programs you're engaged in right now. Okay, um, great. Um, so I think like all good things, I found you by accident. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just on Facebook one day and you were talking live and I watched, it was a rise and receive and I watched it. And um, I didn't necessarily know that I was learning about receiving principles, but every single thing you said, every single thing you said, um, just hit the nail on the head for things that were, um, you know, challenges for me, sadness for me, struggles for me, um, areas of like disbelief or how could I ever feel differently. So it was just so powerful. Um, and so then I just kept watching. And then since then, in terms of structured experiences, I did the vision workshop, the 30 day challenge, and now I'm in the feel worthy program. And then I also just when I feel the need, um, just go on to your YouTube channel and just watch whatever, like it doesn't really matter. I just it, it always works out that whatever I watch helps. <laughs> okay. So with that combination, um, maybe you can share a little bit about, I don't know if there's one, but maybe, maybe like one or a couple of the most impactful things that you've been learning. I think, well, there's so many impactful things and um, they just build on each other. But I think the one that is the core of it for me is the concept of letting everything be as it is. And I think it's one of the early things that I heard you talk about. Um, and it first kind of landed in me as like, everything's okay right now in the outer world. Um, like just the circumstances, it's everything's gonna be okay. It was a very calming, soothing, accepting, just letting things be. Um, and it was such a relief. Um, but since then, and the focus has shifted and at least what I'm working on is on um, nurturing myself and space for myself. I also have learned that letting everything be as it is relates to me. And um, that's so powerful for me because I came to this just with this, you know, sense of um, uh, lack of accepting myself. And so if I let everything be it, it's as it is with me, <laughs> that, that just, um, I mean, it just solves everything. <laughs> um, I know that sounds really simple, but that's how it feels. It just feels like I am in acceptance of my life, my surroundings, my circumstances, and myself. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, I really remember some of our earlier conversations. The pain was deep, but also very close to the surface. And, um, and then I know you've had some pretty profound shifts in that feeling state within yourself um, as you've been practicing basically. So, um, so with that, maybe you can share a little bit more about what it is that you have been receiving, um, whether it's inner world experiences, outer world experiences, or even your relationship to the outer world. Yeah, um, I think the biggest um, receiving in terms of is the shift, the shift that I've noticed of being in my spinny, painful head and being able to quickly go down into my feelings and stay there. And again, it's like immediate relief. Um, it's the, the head space is very spinny. I'm seeking, I'm fixing, I'm, I'm unhappy. And then as soon as I remember to focus on my feelings, it's like all the questions go away. And I just know that um, the answers are there and they come in time if I'm quiet, if I'm still. Um, and what that has been bringing me is um, a huge sense of calm, 
um, major reduction in anxiety and worry and stress. Um, a lot of love. I feel so loving towards um, everyone in my life, myself, I guess, too, um, but really lots of love um, for my family and um, creativity, um, risk taking, confidence, clarity. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. <laughs> That's wonderful. I think that one of the things I just want to highlight to just build a little bit for anyone who's, you know, exploring this is you've come to many of the Q and A calls and you said, you know, my life is still chaos, you know, mm -hmm. and the conditions haven't changed, but I'm just like the calm in the center of the storm, you know, and, and what I love about that is it just really points to that is the power of receiving, which taps into the power of being is the power of doing causes struggle because we're trying to change the outer world. And on top of that, we in order to feel better, but this is about you feel better first and then things start to shift. So it's just a 180 and uh, it's just a beautiful thing to watch. So I'm happy. It's also you. much easier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's the whole point on learning struggle, exactly that. So when I see somebody tapping into the ease that's always here, um, it really is so simple. It's just unfamiliar. You know, we just haven't been trained to operate that way. That's beautiful. Thank you. Um, so really, as we kind of wrap it up, um, why would you recommend, whether it's a specific program or just the general teachings as a direction for people to explore, and who would you recommend it for? Like, who do you think would benefit the most? Um, well, one of the reasons I would recommend it is actually what we just talked about, is that it's very easy. And um, I think there's so many things I, programs I've tried or philosophies I followed that are just so hard. This is very easy. Um, it's very, um, it integrates very easily. It's uh, very exciting to learn about it. Um, it's like pleasing to the mind and heart. Um, and it's really fast. Like um, the results just feel really fast. And um, I know I'm only just beginning, but it's so exciting to feel how much how much has changed in my life inside and out in such a short time. So that's um, thrilling. Um, I would recommend it to anybody who wants to feel more calm, um, more peace, more fulfillment, uh, more contentment, um, more ease, more joy, um, and just uh, feel really like settled um, in their lives. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'll just say one more thing only because it was, you know, fun for me. But one of the things I teach and you're such a, an example of this, I always say, you will feel the results before you understand them. <laughs> and I remember when we talked about that, and that was you, you kept coming to the call saying, I just feel better. I don't understand what's happening, but I just feel better. And I know the connecting the dots on the mental level comes. Um, but that is part of the fun of it is it just works. You don't really have to understand it. You just have to practice it. And you've been a great example of just show up for yourself, practice, and then things shift. Yeah, I still feel that way that I don't understand it, but I'm just watching things shift and noticing them and thinking that's exactly what I want. And so I just keep moving along the path and those things keep happening. So yeah, yeah. I still don't understand it. <laughs> you <It's> will. Your... <laughs> <laughs> you will. It's fun too when that starts to happen and people go, oh, I get it, you know, but the results are first. That's the most important thing. And then the understanding comes later. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Alvin. I really appreciate this. I know that this will be helpful to the people who are looking for exactly the things that you're talking about. And um, just thanks for sharing your experience. Okay. Thank you. All right.